No, lay it down. Lay it down. I just brought this over as an example. Hi, Bubba. Oh, no, no. You, you relax. I brought them to you. You want your little baby? You want your baby? Oh, there you go. Hey, Bubba. Hey, Bubba. How's it going? No, you sleep. You snores away. You sleepy. I'll sleep with you. Uh, is that good? I haven't done a good old floor vlog in a while. Hey, pay me like one of your French YouTubers. Excuse me, chicken, you're stealing. Excuse me, I know the fans love you more, but this is not necessary. Hey guys, uh, how's it going? Bet you wonder where I've been. So this past week, I have been absent. No, no, uh, no, it it, it no, hasn't, it's been a while since I've missed uh, one day, let alone a whole week mysteriously. And I explained it in a vlog while I was over at the location where we were filming at, uh, but there was no internet there. And, and that's not a lie. Like later today, I'm going to upload like five videos because I recorded them ahead of time and I meant to upload them. But when we were there, I was like, for some reason I didn't just upload them here. I was like, oh, I'll upload there. I don't care if it takes overnight. Even that video that I showed you, like I uploaded that from my phone because I was standing on that balcony and just holding my phone out over the edge of a, the abyss. Oh, so I'm sorry, puppy. This is her baby because it still has its face. Chica is a vicious beast that tears the face off of every- this, I thought this adorable puppy uh, would survive the onslaught, but oh no, I'm just a little bit decapitated. So this past week, I've been filming with a bunch of my friends out in the boonies, as I call them, but we were filming at this castle for this uh, multi-part video that we're gonna release soon. And I would love to tell you all about it. I really would. The rest of the team would kill me if I did, but I want to tell you about it. And that's not just me reverse psychology getting you to like be hyped about it. Like, I really wanna tell you about it. Oh, Bobby, Bobby. But trust me when I say it's one of those things that the less you know about it now, the better it will be for you when you actually see it. It's a huge project. We've never done anything this big or ambitious. It's not a YouTube Red series. It's not a movie. It's just a project that we were very passionate about and we wanted to do the best we could at it. And we did. Like, this past week has been amazing. And, and admittedly, this past week has been not good for videos on this channel. I know I, uh... Broke some promises there. <laughs> well, I mean, what can I do? What can you do about that? Eh, nah, well, what can you do? Not that I'm dismissing the, uh, the aspect of promises or keeping promises, but this past week has been, like, fulfilling for me. In, in a way that I haven't seen, like, like me filming a project be fulfilling in a while. Number one, because it was something that we all were very, very passionate about. It's something that we all, like, really, really love. What are you looking for, bub? What are you looking for, you monkey? It was something that we were all supremely passionate about. And, and it was something that really, really, ooh, something that really, really gave me more insight on myself. Uh, and that's a weird thing to say, especially considering I'm 28 years old now. Like, I'm a full-fledged adult. I've, I've been paying taxes for years now. I have an accountant. Like, I am an adult. I'm about as adult as it comes. And I know you guys are currently typing up your examples of how I'm not an adult. I'm a meme chugging idiot, but that's besides the point. The point of the matter is I learn more about myself even though I've been in this body <laughs> for a while. That didn't make any sense, but then again, nothing I say does. But, but it, it's funny because everything I do is a reflection of who I am, right? Like these videos that I make, they're a reflection of who I am because I'm honest. And even though that honesty is never a lie, that doesn't mean that I can't change over time. I, I used to be caught up in this vicious cycle of, oh man, I could have been so good at this if I had started then, or if, I, if I'd have been doing this instead of that. And, and, and that's why I make like such sweeping statements like, promises like I'll never miss an upload date. And, and admittedly, uh, e the day after I posted that video, I was like, oh, I dug myself a hole now. How am I gonna get out of this one? Well, you can't, you're just an idiot. You gotta live with it. But, what, but the reason I said that is because I was mad at myself. And the reason I was mad at myself was because I was getting lazy. Like I really was. And that's what caught me. That's what made me go like, oh, what are you doing? Oh no. And then like, as like penance for myself, I. 
I, I created this schedule that I never wanted to break. And admittedly, I, I wasn't gonna break it if the internet wasn't there. Today, I am gonna upload just a whole bunch of videos. You guys are gonna see them uh, today. I've got a ton of West of Loathing in the, in, in the pocket that I'll be spreading out throughout the day. It, it, it's like, it was a kick in the ass. And sometimes you just need a kick in the ass. Even if you're kicking your own ass, sometimes you just need to be kicked in the ass. And, and that's where, like, that's where I can come across as an asshole sometimes. Like, I'm, I, I care a lot about what we do here and I care a lot about this community that we built. So while at the same time I like the kick in the ass for what it did, uh, for me, work ethic wide, I didn't like the kick in the ass because it caused me to post videos at any cost. You know what I mean? And that means that I'll post a video that I'm not too happy with. And that's like my number one rule. I don't wanna make videos that I'm not happy with. Cause everything I do, I pour my heart and soul into. And I want that to be shown. Like the honesty of who I am is apparent to everybody that watches this because I am just me and I'll only ever be me. And so the only way that I can ever be better is by being true to myself. And yes, I will change, but in the long run, that change will hopefully be for the better because you guys are there to correct me on this endeavor. Like, does that make any sense? I know that's a lot of bullshit words and whatnot, but it's what I was realizing this weekend. Like, I love making videos. I love these big projects. I love pushing myself to do great things while at the same time trying to keep up this rigorous schedule. It's a challenge and it's a balance and it's something that's really fun because while at the same time I love doing these videos, I also love doing other projects. Like I've been falling in love with music lately. Like I've been listening to so much Ed Sheeran, uh, a little bit of James Arthur, like Harry Styles. I love his new song, uh, Sign of the Times. Like I, I've found myself falling into music and um, it, it's something that I wanna, I wanna dedicate my time to. But then again, there's, there's just not enough time in the day to do everything. So I just find myself having to, mm, uh, spread myself pretty thin. No, hello, bro, bro. And that's it. That's it. That like that's it. That's the long and the short of it. There is no end goal here. There is no business I'm building. There is no nothing else. There's no long term plan because the video, the videos that I make in this channel is the most accurate reflection of my life I could possibly make. And the fact that you guys are along for the journey is just the biggest honor I could ever hope for. And this community that we've built and the causes that we rally for are just, like, it's just the most delightful thing that I could ever hope for. And I know delightful is not the word to use for that, but I don't care. Like, that's the description that I can make for it. Whenever I see the fact that we rally around these things and you guys are there for me for these videos, and not to kiss your ass about it, but, I, like, listen, I really do, like, I really do love you guys. I do, and I know it's such a meme to say that about your fan base, and I know everyone's like, oh no, I love my fans, I love my fans, I would do anything for my fans. And I know it's such a joke to say that at this point, but God, just thank you. Like honestly, thank you, like thank you a million times, the fact that I'm able to do this, and projects like this, you know, they're like, they, they're, they're so time in intensive and they take so many resources and it costs a lot of money, and I, I don't care. Like I don't care, like I don't care about any of that. Like I just care about making the best things that I can make because I owe it to you guys, you know? I owe it to you guys to push myself and not that I'm ever gonna hurt myself for your benefit. Like, uh, it, <laughs> they called me on my bullshit. Oh no. <laughs> no, that's over. I'd like to think that the thing you guys stick around for is the fact that I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing. And that means that I can do anything at any moment. And I think that's cool. Like change is good sometimes. Sometimes it's shit, but sometimes it's good. You know, it's worth the risk. You can't stay stagnant forever. If things stayed the same forever, we'd never go anywhere, right? So for the good or the bad, I will keep changing and I'll keep thanking you guys. So uh, also we're doing a charity campaign this, uh, this week. Uh, this month is for the Joyful Heart Foundation. And um, for this particular charity, I am not going to be doing a charity live stream. And that's not out of laziness. I do have time. I could do one tomorrow. I could have done one uh, last weekend and I had really thought about it, but the reason why 
I can't do a charity live stream for this cause is not because I don't want to support it as much as anything else I've ever done. It's because the Joyful Heart Foundation is for victims of sexual assault. I am not the right person to be a champion for that cause. I have never experienced sexual assault. And in a live stream setting where usually I talk about you know, stories about it. I talk about, I talk to people to share their stories about it. And the fact of the matter is, there are people that are currently going through the healing process of dealing with these sexual assaults. And it would almost be detrimental to certain people's healing process to bring that up and make people relive it. So for this one, I will only say, there is merch down in the description. There is a Tiltify page for donations for the Joyful Heart Foundation. The merch proceeds go to the charity. I don't make any money off of it. The donations go directly to the charity. I don't take any of it. I'm gonna donate myself. And please just help out this great cause. And, and, and in addition to that, currently there's flooding in Houston and Texas uh, from Hurricane Henry. Like, I'll also put a link in the description for uh, like various foundations that will help out in the aid and relief efforts for helping the victims of the flooding and helping like search parties to do that. So please, if you can, donate to either of those causes. Take your pick. They're both great efforts. And you know, just my heart goes out to everybody that's been affected by it. Uh, and, and, and like we did a show in Houston. Like we were there, like we were, we were just there. I've only ever seen it once and it was during that show. And um, I just can't imagine that. Just all of that just being flooded away. It, it, it's it, it's heartbreaking. And again, I'm like I'm not the right spokesperson to say about it because I didn't live in Houston. So all I can do is ask you guys to help out and help out wherever you can, even if you're nearby. Maybe even a volunteer effort would be good. So yeah, I think that's about the long and the short of all I wanted to talk about today. So thank you everybody so much for watching. There will be a ton of videos coming up this week uh, and I'm going to PAX at the end of this week. So I'll, if you're going there, I'll see you there. And it should be a fun time. Like there's exciting videos coming and there's not exciting videos coming and then there's really mediocre videos coming and then there's gonna be highs and lows to everything. But thanks for sticking with me. And it means the world to me. And it means the world to Beepy, right? Oh, sorry, were you sleeping? Thanks again. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.